Okay, what is 3D? 3D is three dimensions. And how we can interpret our three dimensions in these kind of programs? Well, we have three different axes. And for example, right now we have an empty scene and we have three different lines right here, all in red. And if you can see them, they have a small letter. Each one have a small letter. So that means that we have three lines, three dimensions. And yeah, that's right. So the first one is our Y axis, okay, letter Y. After that, we have our X axis, this one right here. And the last one, okay, it's our C axis, the one that goes from here to here. Now, one thing that we can do with these three different axes is have a reference of where are we placing our objects and where are we inside our 3D space. Now, let's say that the Y axis comes from, uh, well, occupies the, the space from top to bottom, all right, in this direction. So all the space is going to be uh, managed with Y in this direction. Now let's say that X is going to be our left to right, okay, so it comes in this direction. And that's how we work all the time in, in our computer monitor. We have uh, pixels from top to bottom or left or right but we don't have back and front. And that's what we can do with three dimensions. So we have the C axis and let's say that the C axis is gonna be our back to uh, front, right? So with this, now you have a better reference of what, uh, uh, how we can apply our objects in this space. Now here in this corner, we have another version of this uh, axis. You can see Y, C and X. And I'm going to move now to this other section right here in our properties panel, remember? And what I want you to see is that we have these kind of letters in this area right here, okay? We have Rx, Ry, and Rc. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change again my colors. I'm going to select the red one. And if you see, we have Rx first. We have translate, rotate, scale, and all these different options here. Well, actually, the first one, X, allows me to see that all these parameters, okay, in this section, are for my letter X. Now, the next one, as you can see, is the Y. That means that all these parameters are for my axis Y, okay, top and bottom. And obviously, okay, the last one is going to be my C axis, right? So we have these three different uh, representations in our panel uh, properties panel. And now I think that you know how they are related one to each other, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna remove all these colors and I'm gonna turn on this node that I have in here. We have uh, this guy. And I wanna show you how I can move this guy with these parameters. I'm gonna select the translate option in the Y axis. Is the one in the middle right i can click inside this area and i can type some text i'm going to uh, place here number three that means three units and now you can see how it moves three units it could be meters uh, centimeters in houdini i think they are uh, represented in meter and meters but in other applications uh, you can call them centimeters and even you can change the, the setting now i can translate him in the x-axis that means left or right so if i go minus three I can move it to the left. I can go positive, like five, and I can move it to the right, okay? And I can uh, place it in the center again, zero. I can rotate in degrees. I can say 45 degrees rotation in the X axis, 90 degrees rotation in Y, or uh, 180 in C, okay? And that's what we get. And we can reset everything to zero, all right? Or I can go here and select revert to defaults, and there we go. So that's how we can use our three different axes in 3D space. And I see you in the next movie.